Roy Jones Jr. had an interview with my boy YSM Sports Media. Salute to my boy YSM Sports Media. You guys go check out YSM Sports Media. But Roy Jones Jr. said that Jerron Boots Ennis is good at everything. It's your boy, Mr. 926, a.k.a. Captain Karate, a.k.a. One Punch Man, a.k.a. The Black Mage, a.k.a. The Silver Haired Demon. AKA, I could just do this all day. The two time demonetized champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr., man. Get the likes up. Smash the like button. One of my favorite fighters of all time. And a pretty honest guy when it comes to the sport of boxing. He may say some things that you may not agree with or may not like, but you could tell Roy Jones is speaking from the heart. Um, he was at an event. And my boy YSM Sports Media was in the building. Salute to YSM. You got to go scrap to YSM Sports Media. And Roy Jones Jr., of course, got asked about the current state of the welterweight division. Got asked about Terrence Crawford, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Light weights on Jr. What would be a great fight? Crawford against Boots Ennis would be a great fight. Um, it's a lot of great fights out there. It's some some of them business wise are not great fights, but some, one side, like for instance. I'm sure Crawford would feel like, well, Boots ain't proof of Yet, look how long it took me to get a chance to prove myself. I had to be 35 years old before I got a real chance to prove myself against her. You understand know me? So, and that's what I was saying. Terrence Crawford's probably looking at it like, it took me this long. Right? And it's funny, right? Because I say this stuff, and then you hear the fighters or the, the, the former fighters, you hear them say it sh shortly thereafter. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just that good at this shit, right? But I said the same thing. Terrence Crawford's probably looking at it like, look, man, it took me this long to get to this point. 35 years old, right? I didn't have no shortcuts. I didn't have the golden path laid out for me like Canelo Alvarez at 23 years old. Nah, bro, it took this long and I barely got this. So nah, man, you got to show me something, bro. Why would I go get it up right away and give him opportunity? That's how he gonna look at it. So you gotta understand. I do understand some of the monopoly play in the game, but those are great fights, no matter what happens. Tank against Tank versus anybody with a name. Shakur against anybody with a name, or Hannah against anybody with a name. And the undefeated fighters who stay, who keeps the O the most, the longest out of all. Of them. I don't know who keeps it the longest. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, I don't know because Hannah gonna keep here for a while, but Hannah will fight. Uh, Tank will keep his for a while, he'll fight. She's gonna keep his for a while, he'll fight. Who's he's gonna keep his for a while? Stop pushing him out, gang. Well, Carl's gonna still keep his for a while, so we don't know. What is Boots versus Terrence Crawford? What does that look like? I don't know yet because we haven't seen Boots in against a guy that has touched him good enough to really test his chin. So we don't, that's the only thing we don't know about him yet. We don't know if he can take the real punch yet because we haven't seen it, but as far as the skill goes, he got everything. And, and that's the same thing I said. We don't know how Boots is until he gets punched in the mouth for real, right? You don't really know how good a fighter is, truly, until he gets hit in the mouth. Once he gets hit in the mouth, then we can kind of put everything together, right, and come to our conclusion, right? But Jerome Boots in this looks phenomenal. And, yes, he does appear to be, does mostly everything good. Now, the Karen Kukachan fight, hey, Maybe that's something they need to work on. Maybe that's something they didn't expect that night. But whatever the case, I don't expect, I don't foresee anything like that happening to Jerome Boots and it's anytime soon, right? You know, that was a one time only thing. And yeah, he got some criticism for it, for that performance, but he got the job done nonetheless, right? So moving forward, if Jerome Boots and gets in there with a, a fleet footed fighter, I expect him to be able to handle it accordingly. And that fight can be a very difficult fight because he has everything. And when a guy is talented and has the skill level that Boots has, anything can happen. But don't get it wrong, but has that skill level too. So great fight. Great fight, man. Go check out the rest of the interview on YSM Sports Media, man. Check it out, man. Like I told you guys, if Crawford plans on sticking around, right, and if he can't get the Canelo fight, the Errol Spence fight isn't looking like it's going to be happening. 
what other options are there? What other fights do fans really want to see Crawford in? Well, none other than Jerron Boots Ennis. Now, Jerron Boots Ennis, if I was a part of Team Boots, right? And I know how Team Boots are. They're really humble guys. They're not about to be out here disrespecting. However, I think now is the time for Jerron Boots Ennis to put the pressure on Terrence Bud Crawford if he really wants that smoke. Man, I go in here right now and show all of them who the real goat is. Yeah, you, man, I, man, I hit you. I mean, I, what? You want to go head to head? Yeah, you don't want to go head to head. Uh, what? What? I, I run you. I run you down. Yeah, yeah. You better go somewhere else. What? You want to go head to head? Oh, all right, then. I told you, I'm, I'm the real goat. I'm the real goat. But, <laughs> but it's trolling the goats now, man. He is out here enjoying himself. Um, he's the real goat, and he's ready to get in the cage with the goats and let them know who the real goat is. But man, look, man, Jerron Boots Ennis, like I said before, may he may have had two opportunities to face Crawford. Their loyalty to Showtime may have botched that whole situation, but whatever the case, now Crawford's in a different place. Uh, from what he was back then and now he's looking at it like look man um you got to kind of make it worth my while for the guys who say well Crawford fight boots fight boots well who's going to put the money up for the fight is the question because drum boots in this isn't necessarily an Al Heyman fighter right he's not necessarily an Al Heyman fighter he was with Showtime there is no longer Showtime so who go put the money up now Eddie Hearn said that he had talks with drum boots in his team in and I'm not sure if, if, if Eddie if, if the Ennis is going to sign with Eddie Hearn um where's boots gonna go right and then if depending on where he's gonna go will he still be able to get the fights that's needed right that's all that's what it's all about we know drum boots and has got next it's just a matter of when it's gonna be his turn right it, it comes into boxing you guys you right um uh, where it's a situation where you got to kind of wait your turn right just like in real life just like in everyday life you know what I'm saying sometimes you got to wait your turn sometimes you may be that lucky guy or gal that get get that get get a shortcut right you may get that opportunity at 23 years old to face a floyd mayweather right or you may not get it at all and you may have to you may have to pave your own path right so for crawford he had to kind of pave his own path right and it took this long for him to get there so now he's looking at guys like boots and it's like look man i'm not looking really looking to give no shortcuts bro because my road was difficult and i'm not looking to make it easy for any make it easy for anybody just to come up in here and take what i got right that's basically what it is Right, Crawford, he almost didn't get to this point, but he finally got here, and now he's basking in glory, right? And Jerome Boots Ennis is going to have to do a little bit more. Like I said, you guys, I think Boots Ennis, um, after he handles Barrios, I'm going to be watching that fight, fan of Barrios, going to be watching that fight, and after he gets past Barrios, because I expect him to, um, he needs to put the pressure on Terrence Crawford. Actually, right now would be the time to put pressure on Crawford. Why? Because Crawford is very active on social media right now. So in every post... What you should be doing, uh, you should be, hey, Crawford, send it, send it, send it, and then have the little hand with it. I'm helping you out, bro, right? I'm helping other innocents. Oh, you ain't even got to be out here talking shit or disrespecting, but there's other subliminal ways you can do it to let him know you coming, and the fans going to be watching, right? Send that little emoji with the hand with the send it. Yeah, how bad do you really want it? Because it seemed like the fans want the fight more than Jerron Boots in Like, subscribe, how your boy? Peace out.